and welcome to my channel. In this video I wanted to show you how I make uh, a freezer jam. It's a, I will be using strawberries so I just picked some up at the market, local strawberries. And I will be uh, making a freezer jam um, using small jars which I will show you later. And uh, this is my family's favorite jam. I also don't use sugar, I use xylitol, which is my preference, but um, you can definitely use sugar, the same amount. So um, let's get started. strawberries and now I started to uh, puree them well not puree them more like finally chop them so here you can see what they look like okay so I had measured out my uh, xylitol I used this one and here are the leftover strawberries. I am going to stick them in the freezer for a couple hours before I put them in bags so they don't stick together. And I will be using the No Cook Freezer Jam. It's 40% less sugar and it has no artificial colors or flavors. And here are my strawberries ready to go. So the next step is to Stir in the sugar, or the xylitol in my case. So I will do a little bit at a time. And to stir it up, and then once it's stirred, all of the sugar is stirred in, uh, you let it sit for 15 minutes. And then you add the gelling powder. So I'm going to finish adding the sugar. So I had I put all my uh, gelling powder into a measuring cup so it's easier for me to sprinkle it over my strawberries. So I will sprinkle it and then I'm supposed to sprinkle it gently and then I'm supposed to stir it for three minutes and make sure that it's all mixed in well. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So I'm ready to put the jam in the jars. Um, the process for gelling was um, uh, uh, sprinkle it, mix it for three minutes, let it sit for five minutes, and then mix it again for one minute. And then you're all ready to go. So I have my little, I don't even know what these things are called. Um, but it's it's purposely for canning it fits right over the jar opening and i will uh, fill them up just up to almost the rim so there okay so i will do that for the rest of them okay so I am all done and I have gotten uh, so 12, 20 to uh, 1 cup jars of jam. These are great all year long. You can keep them in the freezer for one year and we most likely won't eat all of them in one year but they're great to give away as gifts for teachers or home. Uh, housewarming presents and things like that. So hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe. Thank you